Hello everyone. Um, I just wanted to make a very, very quick video about um, why I uh, substituted coffee uh, for tea um, and the next stage of the journey will be substituting tea with green tea. Um, so um, at the minute I am in the process of giving up cigarettes. Um, past attempts to give up cigarettes I've found have always led to a degree of anxiety uh, in me as the nicotine withdrawal leads me to uh, be more anxious. I believe that drinking drinking too much caffeine can add to your level of anxiety and stress. And um, and um, if you are a coffee, uh, someone who drinks a lot of coffee, as I was, I was drinking about a pot a day. Um, this will add a significant amount of anxiety and possibly depression to your life. So now that I am in the process of giving up the cigarettes, I thought that it would be a good idea to substitute coffee for tea um, as there is a lot less caffeine in tea. I have noticed the difference already. Uh, at night time, I am noticing that I do sleep a lot deeper and that, um, and that I am noticeably less anxious throughout the day. As a practitioner of intermittent fasting, as you hopefully know that I am, that will obviously mean that you are insulin sensitive. That means that um, you will quickly absolve, kind of use what is in your system. And since there is quite a lot of caffeine in coffee, uh, that means that you will, if you drink a lot of coffee as I did when I was intermittent fasting, you will get very anxious when intermittent fasting and anxiety and depression are basically the same thing. So um, now that I've made the substitution over to uh, tea, uh, just ordinary black tea, um, I have noticed that my anxiety levels are less. The next stage in this journey is to move from tea over to green tea. Um, I think the key to overcoming any addiction or any habit or exchanging a bad habit for a more positive habit is to find a substitute. Um, I know that this flies in the face of Alan Carr's method of um, addictions, but I think that it's the on only practical way to overcome an addiction is to find a substitute. And there are many, many health benefits to green tea. There are many polyphenols in green tea. Um, there are is still the caffeine in green tea. Green tea is particularly uh, beneficial if you are fasting, as I am, um, and will facilitate your weight loss if you are fasting. Uh, black tea has some uh, health benefits, but not to the same degree. There are many advocates of coffee and many, many people who uh, say that um, coffee is good for example, to help you work out and uh, to help you focus and to help you every, uh, and yeah, to help you focus and to help you go about your day. My experience has been that coffee has added to my anxiety and I'm not sure um, if anybody else has had this experience or if this is just my personal experience, but uh, this has been my experience. And so I have made the transition over to add uh, tea to tea um yes i'm sure that i will come to talk about green tea in a later video but for now thank you very very much for watching uh, as always please press the like button comment and subscribe and let me know um if you uh drink black coffee um let me know if it has any negative effects on your life uh do you believe that uh black coffee or that coffee um is having is increasing your anxiety levels and uh, do you intend to change your habit uh, let me know in the comments below and together we can build a community around our collective self-improvement. Thank you very much.